time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up live from the greatest city in the world. This is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with our chief investment officer, the man with the plan, and happens to be my father, Big Bob Payne. Dad, what's shaking on this glorious first weekend of May? You're finally back in New Jersey from Florida. We've been waiting a long time for you, man. Well, Ry, I saw a beautiful sunrise this morning, and you know what they say, when Bob comes back to New Jersey, then we get May flowers, or I forget, something <laughs> like that. <laughs> I, I think that euphemism has been going on for years. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it was April showers, I forget. But uh, anyway, thanks for asking. I'm glad to be back. Markets are all time record highs. Things are looking good. Life is good, Bob. Life is good. Well, we've got a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about getting out of your own way. We're going to discuss the behavior that is holding you back when it comes to your financial planning and investing. We're going to talk about inflation. Your cost of living is going up. Have you prepared yourself for rising costs in retirement? Bob and I are going to break down exactly how you need to combat inflation, along with this week's financial propaganda, where we call out the worst advice the financial media has recently been broadcasting. In our Spotlight segment, we have our colleague Frankie Lagrateria on the show today, and she's going to review and break down someone's real retirement plan for you. So let's hop to it. Bob, let's talk about some of the common ways that we tend to get in our own way when it comes to planning and investing. And the first one I think about is allowing those two terrible emotions, fear and greed, to cause us to buy or sell at the wrong time when it comes to our investments. Well, of course it is, right? Because that's that old saying on Wall Street that the market is driven by simply two emotions. And they fear are and fear and greed. You know, that sounds like an oversimplification, but let's face it, Rye, if you succumb to either of those emotions, whether it's greed or fear, it's going to have a profound and most likely detrimental effect on your portfolio. Well, I mean, the last couple months are a great example of that. You know, a lot of us may have panicked out when the market sold off heavily in December, and we even saw selling into the year, and we're already back to the all time highs on the stock market that we were at back last September. So, had you done nothing, you have been in way better shape than fretting the ups and downs of the market, Bob. Yeah, well, yeah, right. Mean, it happens all the time, right? You go back to the 90s, we had the, the dot com boom where people were buying stocks that had no values or no no earnings or no potential earnings. You had the real estate bubble a couple of years ago. You know, it's real easy to succumb to greed because, you know, who doesn't have that excessive desire to make as much money as you can in the shortest period of time? I think Paul Newman said money won is twice as sweet as money earned, Bob. So I think that's true. <laughs> who doesn't like to win, right? Right. No, exactly. But the problem is, what happens is you win at the expense of getting to your goals, or you try to win at the expense, and you get too much money at risk, and then the market sells off. And remember 2008, you make, it can derail your plans for retirement, and that doesn't make a lot of sense. Well, it just goes to prove that fear is a much more motivating emotion than greed. There's nothing worse than feeling like it's never going to go back up again, and you basically panic out because you just can't take it anymore. So fear can be much more costly than greed. Yeah, Bob. So I mean, what it comes down to is what is the only way to keep your emotions in check, keep yourself invested for the long term, stay on your plan, as opposed to succumbing to the financial media and all the emotions that come to the short term market moves? Hey, Rye, it's really simple, right? I mean, something as complex as the financial markets, it's simply getting to your comfort level, right? Everyone has a level where they're comfortable because that volatility that's inherent in the market is going to drive those emotions. So how do you get to your comfort level? Well, I mean, the first thing you need to do is when we talk about this in our industry, you take that risk tolerance test. That's not the best way to do it because you take a risk tolerance test. And the problem is if the market's going up, you might be more risk tolerant. On the flip side, the market's going down, you may be more risk adverse. So we found, Bob, is it's better to figure out what your goals are, your you know what you need to live on, what you need in retirement, and work back from there to figure out what return do you actually need on your portfolio. You know, Rye, I think most of you out there have that problem. Your portfolio strategy was based on how you answered six questions on a risk tolerance questionnaire you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago, and the advisor never asked those questions again. So that's not the way to set your strategy. 
the best way to set strategy is to follow what we call the A to B process. Couldn't be more simple than that, could it? No, no. The A to B pro. Well, we we like to keep it simple, Bob. <laughs> the A to B process <laughs> is really like, right. We keep it simple. Right. It's kind of like your financial GPS, right? You plug in the coordinates yeah. of where you want to go, and then it reverse engineers the best route to get there based on where you are now. Same thing with your planning. You know, we reverse engineer, look at where you're trying to get to. And then we work back and look at where you are now, and then we figure out the best route to do that. And the best route to do that is a diversified portfolio based on those goals. And that's the only way, Bob, we found that we can keep you invested long term. If not, you're going to fail. There's no better process, right? I mean, let's face it. You know, the, the big question that you get all the time, am I taking more risks than necessary or am I not taking enough risk? If you have your own financial GPS, you know exactly where you are, no matter which way the market goes, and you know exactly what action you need to take. And sometimes, and in most cases, you know what that action is? Doing nothing. nothing. <laughs> yep. said same. Doing nothing when doing nothing yeah. is the absolute most appropriate thing for you to do to achieve that financial independence we all so desire. Yeah. And what I like about that, Bob, when it's goal-driven, it's not emotion-driven. So all the decisions we make are pragmatic and they're not reactionary because of price fluctuations every day. It's kind of like we talk about this a lot, but imagine if your home was on the market every day and you could see the price every second oh. of the day. It would drive you crazy, right? Yeah. Not only that, right? Everybody would rent. Who would own a home if you saw the volatility inherent in the real estate market? Right, right. But the concept's the same. You own that home, you bought it because you figure it's going to be worth more in the future. In the meantime, you don't really care what the value is unless you're ready to sell. Well, the same thing with your investment portfolio. A lot of your investments, you're not going to sell for years uh, later on in retirement or when you get to retirement. So the, those daily fluctuations don't mean as much, but it's very hard to put that in context unless you have a real plan in place. And that's the beauty of a true financial plan. When you have someone comes off the golf course and says, oh my goodness, Right, the market's down big. What do I do? Well, based on your total return, all weather portfolio, you're set for life. You have all the income you're going to need. It's going to come in no matter what happens to the volatility of the market today. So, you know, go out and have a nice lunch. Enjoy yourself. You're set for life. You don't have to worry. That's my kind of game plan for retirement, Bob. <laughs> Sign me up. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, that's what I need. I need a financial GPS. I need to know where I'm going. I need to know where I am now and how I'm going to get there in the context of a plan, not winging it. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $200,000 saved for retirement. Myself and Bob will run for you our total financial master plan. And we're going to do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic financial review where we look at everything. Simply print those statements off the computer. April statements are probably in. Put them in a folder. Bring them in the office. Bob and I are going to build for you your own personalized financial portal where we can get a bird's eye view of everything and we can look at all the critical components. We're going to look at everything from fees. There's a lot of hidden costs in investment portfolios. I know that's shocking, but those annuities, mutual funds, insurance products, brokerage products, they have high costs. We're going to show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio so there's more money in your pocket for retirement. We're going to look at diversification. Did you get hit hard in December when the market sold off? Is your portfolio protected? Bob and I are going to show you how to bulletproof or protect your portfolio for retirement. And we're going to look at income. Income is so much more reliable than the ups and downs of the market. We're going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio to fill in that income gap for retirement. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan and determine the most critical question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies now we've worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success? And all you have to do is call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you are one of the next 10 callers, you saved over 200000 for your retirement our team at Payne Capital Management will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost. There won't be a plan unless you call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob Payne, and I'm with my son, Rye Payne, and we're the Paynes of No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. Hi, it's Ryan and Bob here, and we want to talk to you about your cash. Bob, many of us are sitting on a lot of cash right now in our businesses and personal savings accounts, 